So how I feel being back since Concordia? Feel good. Starting to get the vibes again. Definitely sophomore going to sophomore year. Ain't having a good experience. Right. Freshman year we had a fall camp. So you know it kind of piped up. You know how you doing? How y'all doing? Just a little excited. Get ready to get the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, we dedicate a lot of things here at Concordia. We've built many things and we've redone many things and so we've dedicated buildings. A lot of times you think more of church stuff, but anything we do on this campus is related to our faith. And so we dedicate things like locker rooms and athletic fields and the Catalyst Building. And so we have great donors and partners who make these things happen. So we thank God for all who are here um, who've supported this. I'm gonna keep my remarks brief. Primarily because I'm hot. <laughs> First time I've had britches on all summer. <laughs> so it's hot. So we're gonna move on. Uh, I heard you challenge Dr. Cario. I was coming in to put out some construction fires last week and my immediate supervisor, Dr. Steve Taylor, who's our vice president of student life, said, Rob, what's the next space we're going to work on? And I thought, man, can we just get one thing finished first? Let's, let's get this thing done, then we'll move on. Uh, I can tell you that on my whiteboard and, and on my desk, there's a list of future projects. This is just the next step in the evolution of Concordia University Athletics. I, like Bill, uh, want to thank Matt Burrow. Matt, Matt from Catalyst Construction has been transformational for Concordia University Athletics. Uh, he and, and his business uh, believe in Christian higher education. They believe in Concordia University. And I'd like to think in some way Matt believes in me. Matt and I are friends and I really appreciate everything he's done for us. I thank you, Matt, for, for all that you've done and, and we look forward to a great partnership in the future. So today, everything is brand new. What up? Uh, my name is James, number two quarterback. CW. Yes, sir. So, uh, how you, first of all, how your summer been? I've just been here working in the weight room, thawing out here. Went home for a little bit, took a little week break. Came back. Time to get back to work. Can't sign up. Uh, uh, what are you expecting this season? This season, high expectations all across the board offense, defense. Um, you know, last year we did we were three and two last year, but uh, this year, you know, we have a full season, ten games this year. We close out the season, you know, lots of touchdowns, lots of things going on, so I'm expecting the same thing this year. Um, for me personally, uh, I mean, my, my goal every year is just to be top of the neck, but um, this year, you know, I'm trying to be one of the top in the country. On me! On me, bud. Why on earth would you go to Ohio? That ain't even the top. Why would you go to Ohio? Oh my god. Are you a 
AJ though, let's get to see you dub, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna introduce a little bit of more of the football team. You know what I'm saying? We'll get back to this, let's go work. Glenn Pierce, sophomore, number 24, DB from Harlem, New York. So how your summer go basically start off? Uh, I think my summer was really, really productive. Um, I got to work with a, a well-known trainer in the area in New York. Uh, he worked with a couple pro guys and stuff like that, so I got to hang out with a lot of guys who have gone through what I'm going through right now. Just soaking up a lot of valuable knowledge, getting my mind right, my body right, you know, nutrition and stuff like that. So I think I had a good summer. That's good. That's good. How does it feel to be back with Concordia? It's it's good to be back. I mean, we had five games in the spring. You know, a lot of other teams didn't get the chance to play as much as we did. Um, and then, I mean, having a natural camp, you know, where we get time to actually go through the playbook, work out, get to know our teammates better and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to be there. Speaking of last season, you got your feet wet a little bit in the spring. How do you expect to come back from that last spring season? Um, I think the only way is up, honestly. I mean, just taking what I've learned from getting some game action, you know, talking to my coaches and learning what I need to improve on and how, you know, better to make an impact on the team, even off the field, you know what I mean, with some of my teammates and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm definitely about to take a big leap, you know, become a leader in the locker room, make more plays, get more opportunities to contribute. Yes, sir, for sure. Um, another question. So you're an RA, right? Well, no, nah, I live with the RA. I'm sort of like an assistant RA, but I don't got the title. So how does that go? How does that fit with football? Uh, it's smooth. I mean, you know, people see me more because I'm always with the RA and stuff like that. So a lot of people get to know me. So it helps me kind of be a big brother to other people in my hallway also. Not really having the title, but still trying to do the right thing and help people get along. You know, because some people might be transfers or they just might be living with new people. So just trying to help them navigate those experiences. You need more men like you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> uh, any goals, personal goals, team goals you expect in the this season? Um, I think I set the bar high for myself this season. I mean, we got a full 10 game slate, so if I could be in the mix to be all conference, you know, be a starter, just start small though, just starting with starting, playing all 10 games, staying healthy, and then having my name in the mix to be an all conference corner, I think that'd be a really good year for me, and we'll just, you know, take it from there. That's good, that's good. What do you think of the Concordia 2021 football team this year? I think this is the best team that we've had by far in my three years here. Just because, uh, you know, because of COVID, a lot of guys got the extra year eligibility. So we got a lot of our super seniors back. You know, we got guys like Connor Stoneman. Uh, we got guys like Josiah McDermott coming back. You know, Phil Johnson. Guys who are really, who've contributed already and, you know, can help us take that next step. But, um, along with, you know, some of the other freshmen who might get a chance to come in and step up. So, I mean, I, I really, really like this team. I really like where things are going. So. Yeah, sounds like it's going to be a fantastic year. We're going to be definitely tuned in and look more into it. The season, look more into fall camp for Glenn Pierce. 
You feel me? So. <laughs> so I mean, this is the crib. This is my boy Yannick Rule, one of our quarterbacks. You know, he got a nice little setup going on. Uh, we got the little bathroom situation going on right here. And then we got my boy. Damian Dennis right here, one of my, so one of my favorite. Cover, he recorded, bro, like natural. <laughs> one of my favorite receivers over here, Ryan Gusberg. I mean, I ain't got much set up right now, but you know, that's where I'm gonna be living for the next some, two semesters or so, so. Uh, you got the dunks and the, uh, the <laughs> Como Deca songs, however you say that, and you got the Carmines, come on, get them in there, you know, kick some for, oh, the Yeezy boots too. <laughs> oh, but my little Rich pop. Ain't Rich. Hey! I'm 
good? Oh, 
Explain this when you guys lift. Hip flexor stretch, ankle mobility. All one motion. Stand punch. Stand punch. Get pissed off. Let's go. He feels so good about himself right now. Some of them, like, clips it on, but they got bad. 
What's up, I'm Matt, um, senior running back, and I'm from Texas. A business management major. So, um, how did your summer go? Should you start off like that? Um, my summer was good, man. Just a lot of, well, I'm rehabbing actually. You know, I'm coming off a torn hamstring, but it's just a lot of working out, conditioning, getting ready to get back on the field because it's been about like a year and a half for me. So, um, but I'm really excited, man. Uh, I think that this year we got a lot of promising underclassmen, and I think uh, the season's looking real good for us. So. That's nice, that's nice. Um, can you speak a little bit on like your rehab? So what exactly happened? So <laughs> bro, so I tore uh my hammy. Um it was a semitendinosis tear, so it's a, in the middle of my leg from the bottom up. So once you tear it from the bottom, there's no surgery you can really do for it. Really you can just do strength training. So um I'm kinda just trying to get these other two muscles right and you know, I'm just gonna have to play through it. You know, it's my last year, so I'm gonna leave it all out on the field. And, uh, you know, injury ain't really nothing that can stop me, to be honest, so Feel I'm ready. Feel that. Oh, speaking of your last year, mm -hmm. what do you expect this season out of the team and yourself? Out of the team? Shoot, I expect the rain. Shoot, I wanna go to the playoffs. That's what I wanna do. Um, I haven't really made it past the postseason, but one time in my high school career, I think we can definitely do it. You know, um, our quarterback, you know, he's a great quarterback. I'm expecting great things from him. He's coming off a good spring season with almost 2,000 yards in five games. Um, our receivers are stacked. Uh, line's always been good. Our defense is going to be good as always. So, and you know, myself, um, I just want to stay healthy and. I want all the yards, all the games, <laughs> all the touchdowns. No, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just, I want to win. That's what I'm expecting. I want to win. Good, good, good. Of course, of course. Um, How do you think these first, so we had day one yesterday, today day two. How do you think the first two days went so far for all count? You know what I'm really surprised with is the freshmen. Um, you know, especially being with the running back so far. They seem really focused. Um, they seem... They seem like they're ready to go, um, and I, I think that's kind of with the whole team. I feel like it's kind of a culture shift that's been coming in the past couple of years, I would say, uh, especially, you know, a couple of new um, hires on the staff that we had. I think that we kind of turning around as a football program. Um, I think the energy's going great. Uh, I think practice today was really good. Uh, I saw a lot of people pushing it. Um, and we all just excited to be back out there. You know, COVID kind of slowed us down a little bit last year, and I think we kind of using that as something to, it was, it's a chip on our shoulder, you know, we ready to go. And I think that, you know, this year's gonna be great, and I'm really looking forward to it. For sure, for sure. And finally, as a senior, you have any words you wanna say to the team, anything like that, the young guys coming in? Don't take nothing for granted, because this, this is my fifth, I'm a fifth year senior. And um, it's like just yesterday, I remember 2017, like it was a few hours ago, bro. Like that, it goes by so fast. So, you know, just don't take nothing for granted. Um, these times that you get to spend, you know, with your brothers on the field, just being a student athlete in college in general, not a lot of people get to experience that. It's something really rare. And I'll say just don't take it for granted and go your hardest every day and leave it all out on the field. Appreciate that for sure. We're yes, looking forward to seeing you this season for sure. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy One Fliss. And if you got to the end of this video, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out. Excuse the background, you know what I'm saying? I just got done fin finish editing a video that you guys just finished watching. And if you got to the end, I just want to give a big thank you to you, you know what I'm saying? Just, I spent a lot of time on this project, a lot of effort, you know what I'm saying? A lot of patience, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to give thank you if you watch this. Appreciate the support. I want to give a big shout out to Tyrese Taylor. He was a big help with this project also. This is just the first episode. We plan on bringing way more episodes to y'all throughout this football season and everything. And 
we looking forward to the season, looking for big things and everything, and we looking to bring the visuals to you, you know what I'm saying? We too far with the visuals, too far visuals, so, you know what I'm saying? Remember, Lonely Heart, y'all go shop, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Tayo also. Y'all go copy your, you know what I'm saying, all the fits, all the five fits. But, subscribe to the channel if you new, of course. Give this video a like, stay tuned for the more content, and we out.